Thanks for inviting us in. It's now six o'clock and tonight a family is searching for answers after a 72 year old woman was hit and killed. She was crossing the street at 71st and Georgetown Road. Metro police continue now searching for the driver who left the scene. Karen Campbell spoke with the victim's daughter today and shares the legacy she leaves behind. But it's always in faith. And I want God to heal her completely. Joy comes in many forms. It's something mom Karen Reffitt has given all her life. So therefore, Amanda, will you accept this room? Her daughter, Amanda Swartz, describes her as a kind soul. She loved to um, just be creative in the ways that she showed love to people. People now heartbroken to learn Reffitt was hit and killed Saturday afternoon as she crossed 71st and Georgetown Road. Metro Police tell 13 News eight pedestrians have been hit and killed so far this year. The woman we lost is a beautiful, amazing soul and we'll never get that back. Reffitt loved to walk every day. Swartz says she made family wherever she went. And they even said that she was a Kroger fave and that everybody at Kroger was crying when they found out. Wow. And that touched my heart. Reffitt also touched hearts with her poetry. Kroger employees gathering poems she gave them to create a memory board to honor her. The rainbow's colors are so neat. The roses bloom very sweet. Bless you every day in a holy way. Reffitt would sometimes attach a small token to her poems. So anybody and everybody that would accept one, uh, she just wanted to brighten their day. Yes, we affectionately called her the bag lady in Indianapolis. Um, I've also heard that people have called her the umbrella lady. Swartz says she hopes people remember her mom for the good she brought to people's lives. There's a lot of, um, you know, things out there of people saying, um, don't be a Karen. Um, but my mom's name was Karen, and she's a positive Karen. Um, so if I could leave this with anybody, it would be be a positive Karen in a world of unkindness. Karen Campbell, 13 News. Hmm. We have been tracking the rise in pedestrian and cyclist deaths for years now. And you can find our coverage, including the activists who aren't waiting for the city to take action, at WTHR.com.